lousing about. I should kick your fucking ass. I can hold turret spots. Yay. Eichenwald is a great map for Torbjorn, if you're on defense that is. We've got 13 spots here today, only 4 offensive spots, and the rest being defensive. A huge amount of these spots lie on this first point here, where Torbjorn just absolutely shines. The amount of defensive opportunities are seemingly never ending. This is the one I usually stick with on this map, the good old reliable stair spot. It covers the choke and can't be hit too early into the map. A much more aggressive angle you can take is this one here, in the bushes in the back. I've got my graphic settings on the lowest, and the bushes are still there, and I've seen just as many Torbjorns use this spot as the first one. Another slightly less common variation, sort of in the middle of both of these, on the back bed of this wrecked sedan here. It just peeks over the roof of the car, and again is a rather aggressive angle, but does have some coverage around the Bastion wreckage. One that's definitely unique that I've seen before covers the other angle, which when placed just peeking around this broken sentry, can shoot at the choke, and also those that like to wait around on the left side too. The final defensive one around this first choke area is a combination of the first two, which I've learned from this one very interesting fella called Cleanser. I definitely recommend you guys check him out, and has really nice coverage from the stairs to the side. A hyper defensive spot for the point now to sum up the last of the defensive spots for the capture point here. You're actually able to toss one up onto this little edge that sits way up there. It covers a very strict angle on the point, hitting only the defensive side but works great on punishing people for making space and dealing with those pesky flankers. Two offensive spots on point A, I like to start out by hopping onto this box and throw one up onto the far side of the bridge when I know we're pushing hard through the choke that is. This one applies pressure from the bridge and creates a distraction, relieving pressure from your front line. And then if you're able to push up for it, throwing one onto this high ground, um... Throwing one onto this high ground... Fuck. Throwing one onto this high ground like this, not too far forward and not too far back, is an excellent offensive opportunity for your team when gaining control of the first point. Now onto point B where I'm going to start out with a cheeky little defensive spot that goes round these side stairs. This is an uncommon route to take as Torbjorn, but if you plant a turret here it will poke at where the backline usually holds, and you can choose to either poke from here as well, or use this time to rotate up to the high ground to create some serious space for your team. On defense now, point B is really open, so there aren't many spots, but to start out, I like to place the turret right here, it has an excellent cover and pokes the people that push up too much if you're looking to halt the payload at the door choke area. And I know how common it is for Torbjorns to play up onto the castle area, so if you are playing from up here, you can just aim towards the bottom of the broken sentry, and it can fit right in that cubby just like that. An obvious but effective spot for this point is to lob one up onto this high ground. This one is great for farers and echoes that like to make space over this route here, the wall provides coverage for the turret. And another offensive spot to end point B is to take the right door, and if you're trying to recontest this point here, placing a turret that's effective is often quite the challenge. But you can throw one just in between these wooden platforms up above, and then apply pressure to the front line, and this turret will fly right on over to the side, and will poke at the supports and damage from this angle, which can really create some serious space for your team. And the final point, point C, I found to be pretty disappointing in all honesty. There weren't many spots here, you know, just like common knowledge on where to place turrets and stuff, not really any specific spots. But one spot that I did think was worth attention was this one right at the back here. You can come around the back and take the high ground and then throw a turret against the roof to land on the chandelier and this one pokes all the way down the main straight whilst taking cover from the surrounding environment. Guys, that's 13 spots. I hope you enjoyed, and let me know what it is you're going to have for lunch tomorrow.